Hey guys, Mike Cricket 113. Hope everybody's doing well. Hey, uh, seven days till Christmas, actually less than that, uh, if you count the time of day here. But anyway, uh, hope everybody's doing well. <clears throat> uh, buddy of mine a while ago, thank God for him, uh, he, uh, an amateur extra, he, uh, he gave me this uh, MFJ Versatuno 2 model number, uh, let's see here, MFJ uh, 941 Delta. It's a manual tuner, manual tuner, and uh, yeah, it works. It works good. It works good, but it's manual. You know, it's not like today's auto tuners that may be in, uh, you know, your radio, whether it be uh, Yesu, Kenwood, Icom, uh, uh, Zygu, whatever, uh, but <clears throat> manual tuner. And, you know, where your, uh, where your HF radio will not tune, you know, usually it's like three to one, three to two, something like that. Uh, anything higher, it will not tune the automatic tuner inside, uh, unless you have a Zygu, because that thing, I don't know, I don't know what the bounds are of that thing, maybe four to one, uh, it will tune up to, but anyway, uh, the, the manual tuners are fun, uh, I don't know, I don't have experience with, uh, the automatic tuners, like the LGCs or whatever they are, uh, but this one I've been playing with, uh, for a little while now, and uh, it works just fine. You just gotta, you just gotta play with it. That's all. Um, so, yeah, not really a review about it, but just talking about it. I did realize over the weekend that I, uh, in the back here, let me see if I can get up and get over here. In the back, this little, this coax here, and I, I need to get one that's, you know, this is fifty-eight. That's eight. I need to get one that's uh, a jumper. That's uh, the right, the right gauge or whatever. Uh, but this this one here, this sil uh, silver one and gray one here, that goes to my MFJ uh, 40 meter and and fed, and then this one here goes to my uh, IMAX 2000, and this goes back to the radio to the Yesu, uh, and then this black RG58 uh, two foot jumper goes to the Yesu. But I only had a, uh, a two switch here, and I've been using that with the gray one for the longest time. This was plugged into uh, the back of the radio. And then I realized uh, my buddy was like, yeah, you could uh, just use the tuner and then uh, plug in another coax. So this is coax one position. This is coax two. The coax two right now is hooked up to a uh, Radio Oasis six-meter dipole. Uh and uh, so, yeah, that gave me a third option by using, let me get back over here, using that switch right here, antenna selector, coax 2. That's what I was using a minute ago. I was just talking to a buddy on a uh, six-meter repeater. Hey, yep, there it is again. <laughs> so anyway, hey, if you guys have any six-meter repeaters in your area and your technicians are above, I suggest you start using them. Uh, you know, it's a great band. Uh, it's a great band, six meters. There's, uh, it's the magic band, as they say. But anyway, back to the topic. So that gave me coax one, which was uh, right here on the knob here. Let me switch that. Coax one was going to my 40 meter end fed and my IMAX 2000. And then coax two was my uh, six meter uh, dipole, dipole, right? So, yeah, really, really neat. You know, you have to, uh, the best way to do it is like, well, what I was doing, if I was tuning the antenna, A antenna, like we'll, we'll pick the six meter one here. Uh, what I would do is I would, I would go to AM or FM and, uh, and test, and I would turn the inductor selector until the static heard, I heard the static the most. And once I heard the static the most, um, you know, I'll key up, throw out my call or whatever. And then I would, I would tutor with the dials of the trans transmitting matching and the antenna matching until the SWR on the, uh, on the S, you know, on the meter here on the ASU was the lowest. And then I knew, you know, I was, I was in tune. Uh, but I do have a center fed dipole and yes, it's in tune, but it was compromised because it was in my room. So the only reason I had it, I was using low power uh, just to get on a six meter repeater. Um, so I had the tuner in line just in case, uh, because being in a room uh, and transmitting, uh, yeah, not so much, not the best conditions. So 
After Christmas, I will put that six meter dipole outside permanently and I uh, shouldn't have this issue. But nonetheless, nonetheless, it's, it's a, a great tuner here, a great tuner. It works with coax and it works with open ladder line. And uh, you could also hook up a, uh, a random wire on there or, or a electrically length tuned wire uh, to the back of the set here which uh let's see here if i can finagle this without breaking anything uh so yeah you could put your balance line on there uh it's upside down i realize that there's the ground and that wire <laughs> that's upside down you literally could put a random wire on it and uh and there you go and a dummy load as well so yeah interesting interesting so just pl still playing with the uh mfj versa tuner 2 sorry about the shakiness you know me i'm always uh handheld in it one take one take my cricket here uh but yeah yeah it's pretty neat pretty neat and uh you know it's rated up to it looks like 300 watts i'm not using any more than that you have your uh, swr meter in there in play and power meter and whatnot and uh so pretty cool pretty cool uh i'm not sure if this particular version you could tell the logo here on mfj that's an older logo it is still in production but i know that they still have versa tuners uh manual tuners they just look a little bit different than they do now than this one does anyway this is my cricket 113 i hope you guys have a merry christmas uh enjoy the dx out there the conditions are uh, the muffin boulder right now is about 29.8 uh megahertz so uh 10 meters is still open up and anything anything higher obviously or lower i should say on the frequency anyway T anyway take care take care and merry christmas this is my cricket 113 and we're gone <laughs>